There are only few days left to AMD launch their new 5000 desktop CPUs and all the leaks and rumors are suggesting that these CPUs are going to be amazing. But in this video, I'm going to talk about why you don't need to buy this CPU or specifically why you won't be able to buy this CPU. But Remember one thing, I'm not going to talk about their performance because all the leaks are suggesting that these CPUs are going to be great and I also know that these CPUs are also going to be great. So I'm not going to talk about performance. What I'm going to talk about is some practical things. And the first thing is there is going to be no core count increase. Now, why people fall in love with Ryzen at the first place? The reason was simple, more cores, better cores like at least better than their bulldozer architecture and at a cheaper cost and they have been doing it throughout their three generation they have been increasing their core count either uh, in their lower end cpus or like introducing more core count cpus now a bunch of people were thinking or uh, like assuming that AMD will increase the Ryzen 3's core count but it's not happening and we also got some leaks about that there's going to be a 10 core CPU but it looks like that no it's not happening the core count is going to be similar but in that core count we are going to get much more performance which I talked about in my last TD news and you can check it out right here now the next point is your motherboard compatibility. Now, what do I mean by that? As we all know, AMD has said that they are going to support AM4 for at least four to five generations. Now, they are supporting the 5000 series CPUs with AM4 socket, but also they said that there are gonna be some incompatibility with certain motherboards, especially the 300 series chipset are not officially supported with Ryzen 5000, but as we all know, some vendors or some people will find a workaround, but I don't suggest you to get a 300 uh, series board for your uh, 5000 series CPUs. Why? Because some leaks are indicating that the TDP or the power consumption is going to be a little higher in some higher end chips, like the Ryzen 9 5900X. Leaks are suggesting that it's going to be a 105 watt CPU. That means not only you need a beefy cooler to cool down your CPU, but also your chipset need or motherboard chipset need adequate cooling. That is the reason we are seeing uh, chipset coolers in 500 series motherboards. And also there are some perks of owning a latest generation motherboard like the 500 series has a PCIe Gen 4 so you can use high speed to storage device. Now let's talk about our third point and that is this is going to be the last generation of cpus which are going to support am4 yes this is going to be the last generation amd promised us that they will be supporting the am4 socket for a long time and they did and this is the time they need to move on from the am4 socket now i know a lot of you are going to get upset about this but here's the thing everything has to come to an end and this is the end for am4 socket so if you are making your pc for future upgradability then i I don't think that the 5000 series is going to be a great option for you. Now talking about option, the fourth point is Intel. I know Intel's lineup isn't that much good right now, but remember one thing that AMD is pushing Intel to their limits and they will definitely fight back and from what we are hearing the Intel CPUs or the next generation Intel CPUs are going to be great one because they are going to be a backport of Ovilokov CPUs and yes they are also going to support PCIe Gen 4 in their next generation CPUs and I think it's like finger crossed I think that Intel will lower their price just to be in the competition because honestly they are not in the competition right now they are selling their CPUs because they are Intel the name that is selling their CPUs yes it's good on gaming performance raw gaming still this date Intel is good but as I said AMD is catching up fast now talking about catching up the last point is uh, you have to catch a CPU 
what do I mean by that? Well, stock issues. We have seen the stock issues with RTX series of GPUs. Now, I think that Ryzen will face at least not that much or I don't know, it could happen worse than RTX 30 series, but they will face some stock issues. And this is a definite thing. And the biggest reason or the biggest culprit for that, the condition. The condition around the world everywhere all the fabs factories are almost closed workers are not willing to work because of health concerns and in that situation creating tons of tons of cpus is not possible honestly it is not because creating a cpu is not everybody's cup of tea like it not it's not that simple this specific point is not why you don't need to but why you won't able to buy a ryzen cpu at launch so this was a short and simple video for about why you don't need to or why you won't be able to buy a ryzen 5000 cpus now if you want to know more about ryzen 5000 here's a video check it out i made it way back like not way too back but yeah it has most of the relevant thing that you need to know about ryzen 5000 series cpus now if you like the video hit the like button if you don't leave it a dislike and tell me your thoughts in the comment section what do you guys think about this video or you want to troll me because whenever i make these kind of videos people love to troll me and people love to uh, dislike this video so if you want to do the dislike well do it go ahead and if you want to watch more videos from us you can check this video right here and if you want to subscribe and i appreciate if you do that well do it by here and this is akash and i will see you guys in the next one peace